In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a responsive component in Figma with variables. So let's get right into it. So I've got this example file in Figma set up and I've designed my footer component with three different sizes. So I've got a desktop size, a tablet size, and a mobile size. And what I want to happen is when I option drag one of these instances of the component to different frames, I want it to automatically change to the correct variant. Now there's a really easy way to set this up using variables. So if we just go over here to our local variables and create a variable string, and we name that device, and we're gonna have three values for that. So we'll have desktop, tablet, and mobile. And you'll see that this has created three modes as well, mode one, mode two, mode three. And we're just gonna rename those as well to desktop, tablet, and mobile. So a super simple variable collection setup. And now all we're gonna do is make sure that our component variants are named appropriately. So you can see here in the sidebar, I've named them desktop, tablet, mobile, and that also shows up here, device, tablet, device, mobile. So just make sure that that's set up properly. And now when we drag out an instance, what we can do is set the device to use the instance from the variable. So we just click this little hexagon here and link it to that device variable. And so we'll see that that changes it to desktop. And if we do it over here, it doesn't change because the frame hasn't set a mode for all of the variables in it. So if we click on the parent frame and go down to appearance, there's the set of hexagons here and we can choose the mode. So by default, it will be desktop, but for every mobile frame, if you set that to mobile, you'll see that the instances inside turn into the mobile variant. So just to demonstrate what that looks like, if I move this footer component between my desktop frame and my mobile frame, it automatically changes which variant is being selected based on the variable mode of that parent frame. So hopefully you can see how this approach would be super useful. If you label up all of your components correctly, you can just very quickly change between layouts with minimal work required. Anyway, that's it for this quick tip from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this tip or wanna see more videos like this, please do hit subscribe so I can continue making videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.